The British Projector Infantry Anti-Tank, referred to as the Piat, is a self-cocking weapon designed to stop and knock out enemy armored fighting vehicles or AFVs. Its chief characteristics are mobility, short range, and excellent penetration. The Piat can be used in either anti-tank or housebreaking roles. It is shoulder controlled and fires a high explosive bomb. When fired, the weapon automatically recocks, the working parts being forced to the rear by the recoil of the spent cartridge. A strong mainspring eases the shock of the recoil on the fire's shoulder. The Piat weighs 34 and a half pounds, is 39 inches long, and can be carried by one man. The bomb is a high explosive bomb fired by a cartridge and exploded on impact by a fuse in the nose. The bomb could penetrate the latest types of enemy AFEs at the time and a considerable thickness of reinforced concrete. They consist of a tail unit, body, and fuse chamber are two and a half pounds and 15 and three quarter inches long. The monopod located behind the bomb support provides support for the front of the weapon in either anti-tank or house breaking fire. The height is adjustable by pressing the latch. It also has a slight cant adjustment by loosening the monopod wing nut. The foresight is a flip up bead on a post. For zeroing, it can be adjusted for windage and elevation. The back sight is a flip-up ladder with three apertures and is not adjustable. The apertures are set for 50, 80, and 110 yards. These sights are used in the anti-tank roll with a maximum effective range of 115 yards. The sight for the house breaking roll is located on the left side of the piat. This can be set to both low angle and high angle fire. The bubble level on the site is used to ensure the piat is at the correct angle. The white line running down the top of the piat is the aiming line for the housebreaker site. The maximum effective range for housebreaking fire is 370 yards with the front support fully extended and the shoulder piece rested on the ground. On the right of the weapon, above the trigger, is a safety catch. To the rear is safe and prevents the trigger from moving rearward. Rotated forward is the fire position. The muzzle plug, consisting of a cork secured to the piat with a chain, is used to seal off the mouth of the spigot guide tube when the piat is cocked. A pair of sling swivels are attached to the right side of the outer casing. With two rifle slings fitted to these swivels, the projector can be carried on the back with one sling over each shoulder. Alternatively, it may be carried slung over one shoulder. The next film in the series will cover field stripping of the Piat. Thanks for watching. If you found this video interesting or helpful, go ahead and give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. For more information on this firearm and others, head on over to historyandfirearms.com.